you're also going to be getting a horn. Hmm? What? Like an actual horn. How is it gonna be on my head? Like, are we, is it, are we doing this? Are we putting it here? Okay, let's do this. Unicorns. They're all the rage in the beauty world right now. There are unicorn nails. Unicorn bath bombs. And countless unicorn inspired makeup products. But can I really pull off a true unicorn look? We'll find out. It's Ladylike and we're getting unicorn makeovers. I think unicorns are beautiful. I wish they were real. The most badass of the majestic make-believe animals. I didn't really go through many phases when I was a little girl, but I had a serious unicorn phase. I really like when people use white eyeliners somewhere on my skin. I also I don't want a rainbow effect, but kind of like pastel-y sort of rainbow. I envision myself with a lot of gold. I feel like you can't have a unicorn look without glitter and shimmer. All right, I'm ready to get my unicorn makeover. So we're gonna do the horn first. This I'm going to stick to your forehead. It feels like an invasive procedure is about to take place. This is just a barrier cream so that the makeup comes off easier after. We at Ladylike have kind of Halloween all the time. Putting a beauty blender on your face is the most relaxing. <laughs> Feel it, the uh, horn is on. Time for the crazy. Crazy town. What if this is what puberty was actually like? Just sprouting a horn instead of boobies. My forehead feels very tight, kind of like what I imagine Botox to feel like. So excited for the gold. I love gold. Hopefully I don't lose my horn in an unfortunate schmelting accident. <laughs> the whole like, iridescent, glowy makeup look is really in right now and it's magical and really bright colors and it sort of brings people into this fantasy world that I think is really fun to play with. This is the point of makeup, to make you feel magical, whether it be full-blown unicorn look or like a dynamic red lip. You know like when superheroes go from like their human selves to their superhero selves? Mm -hmm. And they like start to like <laughs> That's how I feel. So if I had to choose a unicorn theme song? Alive by Sia. September by Earth, Wind & Fire. Sugar Sugar by Baby Bash. Just picture me bursting through the doors when the chorus hits with my mane flowing. Look at my glittery boobies. I haven't seen my lips yet, but just from the way they feel, I feel like if I were to kiss someone, I'd change their life. This week on Ladylike, glitter boobs. I'm ready, I've been seeing the faces of the crew. Anytime a new element is added, they're just like, oh. Bring it to mama. Oh my word. Goodness, like wow. <gasps> Whoa! Look at this horn. It looks like it's just legit coming out of my skull. I am completely obsessed. I feel like an 80s slash raving unicorn. I am not mad at this at all. This horn looks incredible. I can't even tell where it begins and ends. Paired with the high pony, my very ultra conservative mock neck sweater. If you think of the spectrum of unicorn, we definitely went to the very far end. It's really nice to just do that because then you can kind of wind it back and apply some aspects of this look to your daily life. I think it's really important to just like be a showstopper. And I feel like all the new trends are like kind of encouraging that. It is nice just to do something that's completely out of the box and not something that you would normally do. My unicorn name I think might be Mariah. Francesca. Diana. I feel like all Dianas are majestic. Diana Ross, Princess Diana. This is just too cool to like put on and to take off immediately. Like that, that would be dumb. Unicorn makeovers. Lady tested, lady majestic. What's up? What's up? Ladylike is moving to our own new channel. Where you're gonna find more of the great videos you love. Click here to subscribe.